Hi there, folks. This is Levi Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your Class B and B plus RV specialists. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com. That's truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. I will put a direct link to this particular RV in the description below. If you follow that link, it'll take you over to our website where you can see the pricing and the information on this unit. However, once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full service dealer. We do offer warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions on those, please call my brother Luke in our office at 419-899-2020. For sale today, we have a 2009 Born Free Built for Alrighty, Two. Alrighty, folks, it is time for the inside portion of today's video tour. We are inside this Born Free Built for Two. As always, I will start at the front, make my way towards the rear of the coach. We're then going to come back towards the front. Going to try to get you a feel for the overall space as well as the overall condition. Uh, the condition on this one, this thing is a cherry. This thing is a one owner. I bought it original, directly from the original owner. Uh, very, very clean, nice unit. We are a small family owned and operated dealership. My father started this business back in 1976. Myself and my brother have taken over the day-to-day -day operations. So if you stop in here, you're more than likely gonna see me or Luke. We do consider ourselves to be a no pressure sales place. We welcome you to take as much time as you would like during our normal operating hours, touring this one or any one of our RVs. We want you to be happy and comfortable with your purchase. Make sure that you find the RV that is right for you. Both of these front chairs are flex steel. Uh, you can see the logo on the arm there. Uh, flex steel just makes a little bit higher quality RV furniture. Um, they also make house furniture. Uh, I actually have a sofa, uh, a couple sofas and a love seat at home that are flex steel, uh, both very comfortable. My wife and I both uh, really like them. They've held up very well. So according to the name, this is a built for two. So this unit is built for two people. Uh, we have two separate beds. So you each have your own bed with the center aisle here. Makes it easy to get up at night, go to the restroom if you need to. Also have your own private personal space on either side for you to sleep in. We have big side windows. Both side windows do open. You can get a nice cross breeze on those cool mornings and evenings. Uh, they also let in a lot of light as well as if somebody does choose to sit back here while you're traveling, um, they can see the beautiful countryside. Uh, get a nice view of everything through those nice big side windows. Uh, all the cabinetry is oak. These, both of these beds actually raise up. Okay, so we're gonna hold, I've actually got a remote right here with an up and down button. Uh, you can actually incline the end of this bed uh, if you need to sleep with your head up. This thing is going to tilt up. Um, also, if you want to watch the TV to the front, uh, you can incline it so you have your head up if you're watching TV. A very nice feature. Remote for this side is right there. Again, this side is going to raise up like that. Uh, if, like Again, if you need that uh, incline to help you sleep. Or just for lounging or watching TV. Thermostat for the propane furnace. We do have Corian countertops in this unit. This is a three burner cooktop, has the nice big cover that goes over top of that so you have a lot of counter space uh, when you're getting ready to cook, uh, clean it up, things like that. You got a lot of area to sit stuff. Uh, this cover here actually slides into, uh, let me get down a little further, okay so there's a crevice right here. That is intended for that cooktop to slide into there uh, so you can get it out of the way when you are cooking on the, the cooktop. Monitor gauges, we hold this switch here. It's gonna tell us roughly how much is needed in our gray tank, black tank, fresh water, our propane, as well as the estimated charge in our battery. Switch for our water pump, hood light, hood fan. We do have a microwave slash convection oven. Pull a 180 on here again. So we've got the Corian countertops on this side in the kitchen as well. Two basin kitchen sink, cutting board covers. Give you extra counter space when you need it. We have a 12 volt outlet, uh, master switch for the front lights, hot water heater switch. This is for the propane side. It does also have the electric option. This one here is for the electric option and that switch there is for the bathroom light. Open up a few of these cabinets for you. Lots of storage space in this side, this one. Uh, nice big fridge freezer 
Got the double door. This is a two-way. This will run on propane gas or 110 volt electricity. Nice big refrigerator. Uh, it is a rear entry model. The battery disconnect switch is located right there. Open up the wardrobe here. Nice big wardrobe. A really, actually a really big wardrobe for this size of unit. Got the rod up there to hang your clothes on. Uh, nice and tall. You can sit some stuff on the floor in this thing as well. Pull another 180 on you and try to show you the wet bath here. Uh, so a wet bath, they combine the bathroom, uh, the, the bathroom sink, the toilet, the shower, all into one. So this is a formed fiberglass drain pan down here. Uh, you can stand right here when you take the shower, or you can sit on the stool if you choose to do it that way. Bathroom sink. Uh, we've got a medicine cabinet with mirror on the wall. Shower head. Towel bar. The shower curtain is going to pull across the door so you don't get the door and stuff wet when you're showering. Uh, like I said, I bought this unit from the original owner. Uh, his name was John. John was 86 years old. Very, very sweet old man. Um, spent some time with him, got to know him a little bit. Uh, the reason he was selling this unit is he was 86 years old. Uh, his wife had Alzheimer's, so they were no longer able to travel. Uh, they took this south every winter for the, the time that they had it. Uh, also took it to Alaska one time. Uh, John took very, very good care of this thing. He actually, after he bought it, he had a pole barn put up just to keep this thing inside. Uh, he didn't have a pole barn before he bought this, but when he bought this, he put up a pole barn so he could keep this thing inside and keep it nice, uh, which the outside definitely shows that. Um, probably exterior-wise, uh, in my opinion, this thing's dang near new on the outside. The stripes are not not cracked or torn or anything like that. They don't show that heat checking in them. Uh, it shines very beautifully outside. Um, he was an old-school guy. He has he has uh, travel expenses in the folder of paperwork that I, show, that I will show you here. 19-inch uh, flat-screen TV, DVD player right above that. There is storage in this cab over. Try to get you in here as best as I can. There's storage all the way across that. There's lots of storage up front there. Uh, remote start for the Generac 4K generator. And it's showing 28 hours. Uh, but anyways, John kept his fuel logs. He kept some service logs. All that kind of stuff. Table right there. Sorry, I had a phone call I had to take, so you're going to notice a jump in the video. I'm uh, going to get back in here and get this finished up. But as I was saying, John was the type of guy that kept all of his paperwork. Uh, we have all the original owner manuals, uh, DVD. Uh, we've got some service records in here. Uh, these are these ones here, I think, are fuel logs of the trips that they took, where he filled up, how much, how many gallons, uh, all that type of stuff. He was an old school guy that uh, just, just took notes on everything. So we got the folder there of stuff, and then we have this big guy here. Uh, everything's in manila folders. Uh, everything's labeled as far as what's in each folder. Um, yeah, just an old school guy that took uh, took really good care of this thing. Uh, like I said, spent some time with him, got to know him a little bit. Great guy, uh, took exceptional care of this. Uh, he actually got a little emotional on me, gave me a hug and a handshake uh, when I left. Uh, this thing meant a lot to him and his wife as they spent a lot of time in it. Uh, but exceptionally clean. Uh, I'm going to rate this thing at a nine and a half. Uh, super clean unit. Outside, like I said, shines damn near like brand new. Uh, inside cleaned up very nicely. Uh, if you're looking for a nice one, one that's been well taken care of, uh, this is the one. Ford chassis, V10 engine. 23 foot bumper to bumper. If you have any questions on this one, give us a call at Coon Truck and RV. Best little RV dealer around since 1976. Alrighty, folks, we're going to run around the outside of this Born Free with you. We are 23 feet from bumper to bumper. We have six brand new tires. It sits on the Ford E350 chassis. It is powered by the 6.8 liter V10 engine. Uh, these stripes are original. Original stripes. This thing is extremely clean. Extremely clean. Uh, first off here, we've got a storage bin. Got your propane tank. We can access the storage under the sofa from the outside. There is actually the motor, an arm that require, raised that bed inside. Vent for your propane furnace. A couple of exterior outlets. 
vent and access to the back of the refrigerator. We're gonna drop down here first. We got a storage hose, storage compartment here that has your fresh water hose in there. Close that. Uh, this here is in the passenger's rear corner. Uh, we've got some HVAC in here, as well as the hot water heater. Uh, this makes it very easy to get to that back of that hot water heater to winterize this thing. Uh, it can also be used as some storage. As you can see, we've got the shore power cord and an extra extension cord there. Coming around to the rear of the coach, we have the ladder so you can access the roof. Vent and access to your hot water heater. Trailer hitch, power step. Driver's side rear corner. We have your black and gray water tank dumps. Close that door up. Got your shore power cord hookup. Gasoline tank. We have your city water connection. Gonna fill our onboard fresh water tank here. Outside shower. This is the valve for the outside shower. Uh, cable TV and telephone. Nice little light there if you wanna shower at night. Uh, two coach batteries on a slide out tray. Uh, we've got some sewer hose storage here. The Generac 4K generator. And last but not least, this is the storage underneath the sofa on the driver's side.